All right, guys, you asked for the flag demo on the exhaust port. Let's take a look at the flows quick and the air speeds, and then I will try to do a flag demo on this. I don't expect it to be easy or look good, FYI. Okay, this is my finished port number one. We did okay. You know, we got 210 at the... At point three, we max out. I think it's a 570 lift cam he's got on the intake, so we're going to be right around 280. And I think a touch less on the exhaust. I think it's like a 540, so we're right around 200 on the exhaust. So we still have a little bit of noise right in the middle. I I'm not changing the port that much to work on it because it's so good at after 400. It's really smooth. Okay, as far as our airspeeds on the intake, they look good. We're going to do, uh, I think I'm going to do the flag demo, and I'll do the flow ball demo on this, this video. As far as the exhaust speeds right now we're looking at, we're good almost all the way around except the floor. So, on the left we got 268. You'll see the flag flutter a little bit more around that, and the floor, everything else should be the same, and you should be able to see the angle of the flag turning to the lower pressure. We're going to try to get that done. Okay, we're set up at 600 lift. We should show about 202.5 on the flow bench and then I'll take a look at the, uh, the flag. Okay, not sure how good you could do that because I was kind of holding the phone and trying to figure this out. And I, the way I have it set up, is I have the, the exhaust blowing towards the bench, so I'm kind of doing everything backwards. But you could tell when I put it right here on the floor, the flag definitely had the most turbulence, which makes sense because that's the slowest air, right? The rest of it was pretty darn good all the way around. This corner was a little low and a little more turbulent. But everything else on that port is pretty good for the size of the port. I did actually CC these. These are done. They're 211.5 on the intake and 72 cc on the exhaust. So 72 cc exhaust that flows that much is not bad. It's not fabulous, but it's not bad. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer our opener over to the intake. We're going to set it on point six so it should show pretty close to 286.2 these are our air speeds okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what the flow ball does at different points okay I'm not positive how I want to do this but I want to show it to you right here on the floor in the pinch middle of the pinch and the top of the pinch so I'll probably go back and forth and we'll do that first and see how bad it is Okay, we're all set up on the intake. We're set up at 600. Let's see, uh, let's see what we got as far as flow. Okay, that's pretty close. Now, we're gonna do the flow ball. I'm gonna do it in three different places. 
and we're going to see how much it goes down. The flow will go down, or go up actually, it's, it's put it on the short side, flow could go up. If I didn't do a good enough job on the short side, flow will go up with the flow ball on there. We'll, we'll check it, we'll check it right at the pinch, and then later I think we'll check the middle of the, uh, the short side, and then we'll, we'll check the apex. Okay, we're going to use a big flow ball because we want to see a big difference. So it's a half inch diameter of flow ball. Okay, I had to turn the light off so we can go back and forth and see the flows. So let's... Okay, that's what our pinch looks like. It's almost exactly an inch on the floor and gets a little bit wider as it goes up. How much wider? Well, it gets over a hundred thousandths wider on top. Now, it's like that from the factory. I did not change it, which makes it unbearably thin at the top. FYI, pay attention to that. Now, that's definitely uh, a little DV influence. He likes it bigger at the top and smaller at the bottom. And uh, sometimes I do it that way, depending upon the air speeds. All right, somebody asked for the area of that pinch. Why don't we figure that out? I'll show you how I do that, even though it's on an angle. All right, I should never do videos when I'm hungry. Blood sugar goes down and I lose my mind. All right, let's multiply this out. What I did is I broke it into a rectangle and a tiny triangle. So we go 2.12 times 1.01. Okay, 2.14 at that pinch. Like I said, it's fairly big to begin with, and it was opened up because, uh, because of the speeds that I wanted to get it to. Now we're going to do that little slice there. Okay, so how do I do this little corner here? Well, it's 100 across, and it's 2.12. So you multiply these, right, you get 0.212, you divide it by 2 because you're not doing half of this triangle. So you have 0 0.106, so you take this 0 0.106 and you add it to 2.14. Okay, sorry for my scribble, if I didn't goof that up, that's 2.246 pinch. It's a good size pinch. Now, that's actually good because we're trying to get some decent power out of this, right? And as far as our air speeds at the pinch, they certainly are not holding us back, right? Now, you also have to pay attention to the different size pinches throughout the head. You want to get these as close as you can. And I did. They're very, very close. So they're all going to be very, very similar. And every port's going to flow very, very similar. Okay, let's do the flow ball on the roof. Okay, the way this is set up, this is our end cylinder, right? This is uh, number eight. So when I have the flow ball on the left, that'll be the cylinder wall side.
Okay, you know what that told me? I have the airflow on either side of that roof doing about the same thing, even though our air speeds are a little different, right? We're off by 27 on here. When I put the flow ball in the back of that roof on either side, both of them went from 286 or whatever it was to about 283, 284. I like the way that looks. Let's see if we did as well on our on our short side radius. Now, the way these numbers look right here, these are actually quite good. From side to side, we're almost dead even. So logic would dictate uh, center of cylinders just a touch fast. We'll lose a couple extra CFM on the center. Okay, so I'm going to do this all. Going to try to do this all in one take. I'm going to do cylinder wall, center, center of the cylinder. Okay, guys, not the easiest thing in the world to demo, but right at the apex, the bench will have, a, a, it'll, it'll change sound, okay? We drop to about 270 on this side, maybe 274 here, and 267 here. From left to right, not bad. The only thing I think I wanted to show you guys was... What happens if we put our flow ball like right about here on the short side? Why don't we do that next? Alright guys, I have no idea how many times that pause button got me through this, but I hope it wasn't too terrible. I'm not going to be able to edit it. And uh, as you can see, we put the flow ball on the floor and it barely changed. That's actually what you want to see. Because if you put the flow ball there and your flow goes up quite a bit, like it did in earlier flows, you got to do a little more work to that short side. What you're doing is you're, you're adding turbulence, right? The air is flowing around this, causing turbulence. But that turbulence sometimes helps the air to stick to the short side and actually get around. So it reduces your separation. It's a, it's a very interesting tool. Uh, flow, balls, flow balls and the little flags make a big difference. I can't find my long flag. I don't know where that uh, must have fallen behind the bench. So that's not going to be seen for a while. But uh, I do like to do that. I do like to use the flag in the port. I guess I could use this little flag and just show you uh, 
what it's doing on the floor and we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up then. Someone's going to make fun of my little flag that's completely worn out with some electrical tape to keep it from moving up <laughs> on the uh, on our shaft. So what was what was actually happening is I uh, probably should have done a better job taping it. That tape was actually getting filled up with with air as uh, it had high speed air across it. In any case. Uh, Good enough for a Saturday. I gotta get some lunch in me. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Have a good night.